hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how this hotel booking project works so in this we have the home page at the first which is a slider and the room section over here so all your rooms will be fetched over here and this is a simple testimonials and this is the footer so let us go to the room section and when you click on this rooms you have the room name and the description which is added by the admin after some time we will see how to add this here you have the check in and check out thing so when you click on check in when you click 11 and just when you select come out of that you will get a check out thing right so here you cannot select the date previous of the check in date so from 11th let me take till 14th okay so when i say check now we are going to see room is available and room is deluxe rooms number of bed two these are the description of that and here your price is getting calculated so check in is on 11th and check out is on 14th so when i click book now it's going to say here the username once you log in so when you click on confirm booking it's going to tell you to log in so you have pay cash payment and pay online option i'll explain you this first let us go and log in so let's say login to continue your booking i just registered a user i'm saying funda at gmail.com password let's click on login you can see logged in successfully so the username will come over here and my bookings profile we will just see all that so go to deluxe rooms so when i click on check check now so this is one day's price so on 9th i'm checking in checking out then i click on book now i'm getting the username here so you can do by cash payment when you click confirm your booking it's going to get booked over here so you can see you can your room has successfully booked okay and you can see it's coming in your upcoming bookings once this check-in date is becomes older than the today date it's going to show in your older bookings so you can check it from here my bookings page when you click you will be taken to this page and you go to your my profile section you have your profile over here you can just update and okay so i'll make this capital and i'll update my phone number too okay and say update profile so profile updated successfully so my profile is done and about us this is a simple about us page and in rooms here we have direct option of filtering from this date to this date so when i say from 10 to 12 i have an option to see what are the rooms available from this date to this date i'll explain the working of this after explaining you the working of the admin so you can get a clearer idea so when you click on admin over here you will be taken to your admin login so here say admin at gmail.com and the password login you can see admin logged in successfully okay so here you have your analytics so total rooms and total users total admins so currently i have logged in the super admin details manage admins this section will be available only for the super admin so you can see in the database you can see this super admin right so we are in the admins table so super admin column if it is one only he will be able to manage the admins so he can add new admin over here and he can edit the current admins and he can ban the admin if he doesn't want him to access so i'll just unban and let me go to the dashboard and here you can see total rooms that will come to this so you have all these three rooms right which is visible on the front end so so here you can see we have these three rooms right so it is coming from this admin so when i just click on edit and here you can see we have given the visibility okay so show and hide option so here there is a help text so green is shown and red is hidden so let me make it to red that means it will be hidden now so when i click on update details the data updated successfully let us refresh and check so you can see that room has been disappeared from here it is hidden it is also shown over here that if it is hidden or what and you can filter it over here like sort it and search for that so when i say royal hotel so you can see it's over here so you can also filter your data let me just make it visible update details okay so you can also add a room over here let me say testing In total rooms i have four of this kind number of beds they have two rate per night is three six nine nine description i'll just copy one of this description copy and paste you have an option of here unordered list you can put something like has ac and 
TV, Wi-Fi and all that and many other things option you have here you can see a ordered list so it will give a numbers paragraph table and all so this thing is there okay choose file so let me click choose file so I'll just select this image and open and say add room you can see room added successfully let us go to all rooms and check you can see the next one is added over here and let us uh, see in the front end let me just refresh and here you can see the fourth room is also visible over here and in this users you have the total users so I have only one user registered right now I can ban and unban the users I can search the data over here and then in older bookings you are going to get whatever bookings you have which is older than today's date and the new booking section you will get whatever is the upcoming or today date so today date and greater than today date will be in the upcoming bookings and manage admins I've already told you this thing is only visible for the super admin so let us log in with the sub admin and check so only the admin not the super admin so once I click here admin and here let's say agent at gmail.com this is another admin which I have added over there say so login see logged in successfully and here the username is there hey agent and you can see the manage admin section is not visible for this admin so he can add rooms and he can see the bookings and the users but he is not able to change any data of the admins let me show you one feature of this so when you see number of total rooms so premium has only two rooms right so what if somebody is trying to book on the same date three people are trying to book so that time we have to show that it's already booked so let me go log out and log in as a user so login here say honda at gmail.com the password logged in successfully and here in the premium so I'll book from 10 to 12 okay so I click on check now so it says room is available for this date and this date so 10 to 12 I'm going to book confirm your booking okay it's done so you can see premium is booked from 10 to 12 and let me book it once again so say premium so from 10 to 12 it's already booked and again if you want to book you can book from 10 to 12 or 9 to 12 let me book this time two rooms of premium we have so two times you can book for the same date okay so starting from the 9th and check out from till 12 okay check now so this time we'll be doing the online payment so here it still says room is available because one we have booked this is the second we are booking from 9 to 12 okay let me say book now and pay online here we have did some validation so card holders name it's going to accept any text over here so let me say funda and here you have to enter any 16 digit number so if I say if I just enter invalid things it's going to say enter a valid 16 digit card number say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 16 yeah so when I click out of the box it is validated CVV number I am pressing a character but it's going to say it's invalid enter valid three digit CVV number so I'm going to input three digits of integer values so valid from just choose your card validation date till from 22 done till 26 done and now click confirm your booking you can see your room has been successfully booked okay so these things will be reflected in the admin panel over there so what who has booked and from what date to what date and the mode of payment so now you can see we have booked two rooms and those will be busy on that 9 to 12 and here you can see 10 to 12 so if anybody is trying to book within this date so we had only two right so it's booked till 12th so now let me try to book it once again from the 10th so where is it premium so 10 to 12 is booked and 9 to 12 so if I try to book from 11 also so 11 to 12 check now it's saying all rooms of this category are booked okay go back and one more thing I'm going to show you so from 9th till 10th if you try it's already booked right so it's going to say all are booked from these dates so until those rooms are checked out so that room is going to be checked out on 12th right so next day of that you can book 13 to 14 if you see 
you will be able to book that it's applicable for all the rooms so it's not going to repeat or that let me book another room of different category so give royal and check now book now and i'm going to do cash payment so it's successfully booked so everything is working perfect from the user side you saw in the my booking section my bookings my profile this also we just updated and tested this it's working perfect so let me log out and log in as a admin and i'll show you the details which the user has booked right now so go to the admin and log in with the admin at gmail.com password so this is the dashboard so you can see let us go to our bookings and check so new bookings so you can see here the bookings has been received in the admin side you can see it's visible and here it is the booking timing 1225 right so you can see it's 1239 now we booked it some time ago and the username who has booked and the room and the check-in date checkout date and the number of days he is staying here so you can also filter the date i mean filter the records by the name so i have all the names similar so it's going to show the same let's log out that's it in this project guys so if you want to purchase the source code the link is given in the description you can check it out so thank you for watching this video